Yes. Yeah, we turned God down like like bad food. I I saw I watched the video, I saw the game and I tried to go down and he went down and he got it. He got it, he credit for him. And maybe he's looking for that pitch in, in the moment, but I think I made a good pitch and we're talking about Romania, maybe we throw we try to throw like a little more down in the song, in the deer maybe. Well credit for him. So you thought the execution was okay, it was where you wanted it? Yeah, there's the the execution, yeah, but maybe Romy told me in the dog like a that in that maybe in that moment I need throw in the deer. Or in my mind I try to throw throw it like down in the song. Um yeah. I I execute the pitch when I when I when I wanna throw. Would you be able to pitch tomorrow if they need you to? Yeah, I'll be available. Good tough just losing to that team especially because you guys are battling for first place. Sorry? Is it tough to lose to that team especially because you guys are battling for first place? Yeah, for sure. We we try to we fight in all game and it's, you know it's just, it's the fight for the first place in the in the division. So yeah, it's a tough lose today. Well, we've just found out through Meredith Morakovitz via Twitter that Chad Green will start tomorrow for the Yankees. Jack, there was a school of thought maybe Sessa could do it. You mentioned how long it had been since he pitched, but they will go with the opener, Green, and especially the way he's been throwing. Right, Green has thrown the ball well. 25 pitches on Friday, so you wonder how much the Yankees will get out of him tomorrow. Perhaps a couple of innings if he can be efficient. And, Bob, two things about this. First of all, the Yankees will be employing an opener against the team known for its openers, that being the Rays. But also, I go back to spring training last week or so of spring training the Yankees had both Holder and Green start games with the anticipation that something like this might happen so Green has actually been a starter in his past before he became a reliever so I don't think it's a terribly big deal for him to make the adjustment it's just the efficiency the Yankees would love to see him get through two innings and then after that where do they go does Sessa come back does someone like Chance Adams get a shot Cortez in the mix as well so it's going to be a piece-it-together kind of game for the Yankees. Sessa, by the way, throwing 23 pitches this afternoon. Now, we'll break away.